tick. I know one problem that a lot of you might have is that so many ladamas can it cost smarty, but the lady that's joining us in the kitchen is Alice Bahalva. She slays when it comes to the kitchen. We are joined by all of the celebrity chef, Miss Carmine um, Paytho. Welcome to Back to Hit Tonight, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Lovely. Now, you know it is Women or Girl Power Week on HN9. I like this very much. <laughs> what would you say to a young lady busy transitioning into womanhood? What, would you, what advice would you give her? I would say try and tone down the noise and figure out who you really are. Ooh. What do you like? What do you dislike? How mm. do you just be conscious of how you react to certain things in certain situations? Mm -hmm. I think the more aware of who you are, the more you can kind of hear your, your feminine spirit inside. That is so true. Now, friend, I mean, I love watching cooking shows, right? And do you think that maybe male chefs are taking over when it comes to cooking shows? Or do you feel that women, they're dominating out there? I think that as women, you often feel like you need to be everything. You need mm -hmm. to be mom, sister, uh, you know, wife. You need to be a whole lot of things. Uh -huh. I think women need to be a, learn to be a little bit more selfish. Ooh. Also, it was Amy Poehler that said every everyone needs a wife. And so I think if you're going to be that very successful person in any sort of career, including being Just a chef, be mindful. be mindful of the fact that you do need help and be okay with that. Oh, I love that. Now, friend, what are you making for us today? So what are you making? <laughs> today, I'm going to be making a couscous salad with okay. some pan-fried chicken, as well as some seasonal vegetables. I'm <laughs> going to make some carpaccio out of the beetroot. Okay, so just very, very that? thinly sliced. It's usually beef carpaccio, but we're sort of taking it a step further. Okay. And then asparagus as well, because that's also in season. And then just to tie everything together, we've got some really good feta cheese. Okay, now Fred, you can get busy. And while we busy with that, I want to ask you for those who just, like, just saw your face for the first time on TV, which I doubt. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, like, where did the love for cooking or food start for you? It was definitely in my grandmother's kitchen. Okay. I was always the kid that was sitting on the counter and you know just, just figuring out what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And she'd always say, you know, go and set the table or go and call people for lunch, you know, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. I always knew that food was why we were, all the family was together, and that's important to me. She that, and so much so that you actually entered one of the biggest cooking shows ever. Not just entered, but you may say it Did you expect that, and what was the whole journey like? I did not expect to win, not <laughs> at all. I think it's so stressful, and what you see on TV is exactly what it's like. Mm -hmm. So even when I got to top three, I was like, okay, so I'm, I'm at top three now. Uh -huh. And you can never take yourself too seriously, or you can, I don't know, you can never assume something. You mm -hmm. just need to live it. Okay, now the last time you were your friend, you know, you launched a stunning series that I absolutely love, because I, like I just told you, when you explain it, I can actually taste the food in my mouth. That's how good it is. Girl Eat World TV. Please tell me a little bit more about that and what sparked this initiative. On MasterChef, I was the food blogger. Okay. And so the show is about me. I go to 10 different cities around the world. Which is the life. It's not the worst, <laughs> it's not the worst. And I meet with food blog bloggers around the cities. Okay. And I think when you go and you travel, the best thing is to go and you know travel with someone that's already lived there. Because mm -hmm. then you're not gonna get all those little tourist traps. You're gonna go to where the people eat. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. And the show being in its first season gets nominated for a SAFTA. Hello. <laughs> Friend, when you received the news, what was going through your mind? And do you think that this is the year? I, I feel like this is the year. I did, you know the new shoe happy dance, you know, when you buy a new uh -huh. pair of shoes? This was that times about 10. Oh, wow. I, I made a real fool of myself. And can we expect a season two, friend? Just like a hint, can we expect a season two? Definitely expect a season two. Lovely! Okay, so can I help you with something? Can I chop something, please? No. Not my no, money. No, no, no. Well, okay, no. I shall step in, I shall step <laughs> out of the kitchen. While I do that, friend, for any advice for youngsters watching, they want to go into chefing or become a cook. And also, can I just explain, is there a difference between a cook and a chef? I'm not talking about the samosas and that. Can that be qualified or seen as a chef as well? A chef is like you being knighted or you've got like a, like a title of a doctor. Like you've got okay. to go through a specific sort of, you know, training session. All right. So, you know, maybe you go to school, maybe you work in restaurants, but there's a, for me, there's a time period. All right. Then you become a chef. Otherwise, you're a really good cook. Mm. So the lady who makes us some worse, she's a, she's a oh, chef. Oh, lovely. She's a cook. So can I can be seen you're as a cook. cook you're a cook. Lovely. Thanks, my friend. <laughs> you can get busy. <laughs> Hectic. Yes, friend, of course, as Rek, for those who are just tuning in, my friend, please briefly take us to exactly what you've made for us. Really, really simple whole wheat couscous uh -huh. with pan fried chicken. Mm -hmm. And then you've got little petals of beetroot, which is in season at the moment, as well as asparagus. Mm -hmm.
But I love what this is. I actually forgot that it was beach tree because it looks like roses. So yeah, they're pretty. Beautiful. Okay, now friends, get dig in, dig in. Pass me on the deer bar, Lauren. Come here, my friend. Come taste. You know. Look, I forgot to add Friend, it to I think it's a case of we can brew and we can cake. So I just said, I want no, to begin. No, I can, I can I bring the plate over. Uh, okay, the couscous. Did you get some of everything? I just want to get a combination uh -huh. in. Uh -huh. And the okay. cheese on there, which I forgot to add. Okay. Girl. I think you're a little bit through the petal, man. Mm. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> okay. Look, like if you are what you eat and you're eating beetroot petals, I mean... Gotcha. Beautiful from the inside. Do you yeah. love wildly mm. tasting? No, let them feed. It's the guest, but no? I want friend. you to eat. Hey, yes. my friend, I want my guest to eat today. <laughs> I'm a very good host. Let me talk to company on this side. Okay, you go this side. You when your new season will be starting. We're in pre-production at the moment. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at tourism agencies and I get to choose where I get to go which bloggers I get to see, and I'm, I'm, I want to eat some weirder stuff. Okay. So Weirder we're stuff like? Uh, we were in Peru, and I really wanted to eat, um, what do you call those things? Guinea pigs. <laughs> but my producer said that we didn't eat cute, but uh, maybe you think pigs are cute. Maybe you think cows are cute. I mean, you know. I think you're on your own with the guinea pigs, hey? Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not feeling that vibe. But all the best to you and your new season. Thank you so much for being <laughs> Uh, on the show with us, what, what is the tasting okay. like, friend? Do I have to? You have to taste this it. Is, is it by fire by force? <laughs> Today is by fire by you force. You have to taste it. Okay, You know cool. what? I wasn't a, a fan of couscous, but after this, friend, mm. don't you guys agree? Yeah. Yeah. No, guys, this mm. chicken is so like amazing. Good. This mm. is the best so chicken good. ever. Yeah. Happiness? Go on, taste away. Thank you, thank you. Taste away. It's a treat. Love it. Friend, what do you think? Mm. See, Everything. You, see that you don't like couscous. My friend, it's wonderful. Oh, I think you can continue the show on your own, eh? I'm out here. <laughs> okay.